Hello and welcome to Complexity Limits Guide to the Mythic Hungering Destroyer Encounter, written and produced by Crazy Puck in coordination with Complexity Limit, presented by Herman Miller. Just a quick note before we begin, this guide assumes you know the fight already on Heroic. As such, we will not be discussing or explaining the Heroic mechanics, we will assume you know them, and will exclusively be focused on the Mythic changes and strategy. If you need a refresher on the basic mechanics, please check out our Heroic Guide on the channel. For the Hungering Destroyer encounter, there's really only one change for Mythic, besides, you know, the standard increase to health and damage across the board. For as long as you're standing inside a Gluttonous Miasma, allowing the affected player to leech off of you, you'll gain a stacking debuff called Essence Sap. This increases your damage taken by the tick from the Miasma by 10% per stack for 20 seconds. The intent here is to force you to rotate who you have feeding health into the Miasma players. An important thing to note here. On Mythic, you will always have four players affected by Miasma at a time. Strategy-wise, positioning and managing the Miasmas are key. We recommend two tanks, four healers, and 14 DPS. You should use Bloodlust on pool. You should keep the boss where he is to begin the encounter, with the raid loosely spread out behind him. Make a box of sorts with raid markers. Everybody stays within the box. If you have Volatile Ejection, yeet out of the box and have the laser shoot to the side. For handling miasmas, you should download a weak aura for tracking who has miasma, and also download a different one that shows the affected players and has them announce their current health percent in slash say. There's also a good weak aura for tracking essence sap stacks across the raid. Examples of all of these will be linked in the description below. You should have your raid leader calling out which miasmas need soaking based off these weak auras. When it comes to feeding Miasma players, we found the sweet spot to be feeding until you have about 12 to 14 stacks, and then getting out and allowing yourself to reset. You should make sure that the people are feeding in a staggered manner. You don't want 10 people all feeding in at the same time, gaining stacks, and then 10 people need to reset at the same time too. In just a base situation, with no other damage being taken, each Miasma player will need at least one person feeding them to keep their health at a steady level. If the Miasma player is below 75% health, you'll need at least two, if not more players feeding them, to heal them up quickly. This is especially important going into an expunge or consume, and immediately after both of those abilities. Last thing to note on the Miasmas, you'll want to pay close attention to the timer for when Miasma switches targets. If someone's at 50% health with Miasma, but it's about to swap in two seconds, don't bother wasting stacks of Essence Sap by going in and feeding that person for a tick or two. Just wait until a swap and then a healer can snipe them up back to full health. Handling Miasma in general is more of a feel it out kind of thing instead of there being a hard and fast rule. After a couple of pulls in, you will start to get into a rhythm and figure out exactly how much you need to be feeding each of your Miasma targets. When Expunge comes out, Make sure you spread out for the circles. Do not stand in somebody else's circle or you'll probably die. If you come out of Expunge with higher than 75% health, pop your orb as well. For the orbs that don't get popped, they will accumulate over time, so you can actually have players pop them with immunities. Put an immunity up, run around, and soak a few orbs. Pally's Bubble, Hunter's Turtle, Death Knight's AMS, all of these things are great for clearing out these orbs. In addition to this, Tanks are also quite good at helping out with these orbs when they're not actively being punched in the face by the boss. When consume occurs, everyone should run to the opposite side of the room as the boss, and the healers should use a damage reduction cooldown if available. Spirit Link Totem, Barrier, and AMZ are fantastic here to help keep your Miasma targets alive. Once the explosion happens, spread back out and keep nuking the boss. Make sure to heal up the players with Miasma here by feeding them as much health as they need so they don't die. Last thing to note for the healers, Desolate actually hurts a lot on Mythic. Don't be afraid to use the cooldown as needed to keep the raid stable through any of the Desolate casts. And well, that's pretty much it. There's not a lot to say about this fight. It's going to take your raid a few pulls to get used to the feel of, especially feeding Miasmas and making sure you get the Volatile Ejections out. Give it a few pulls, let everyone experience the debuffs a few times, and you'll be well on your way to the next boss. Thanks for checking out our video. Now that you know how to kill the boss, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for the rest of our guides, kill videos, and a whole lot more.